See that beautiful sky? That nice wet ground. Mm. It's the 3rd of July. I've worked for the company I work for. Oh. For 21 years. This is the whitest I've ever been in July. In 21 years. Okay, I nearly had to put trousers on today because 19 degrees, which is about 68 Fahrenheit, probably not even that, in July, when three days ago it was 28 degrees Celsius, which is like closer to like fucking 80 or 90. <clears throat> now most people are going, Ooh, what's wrong with the weather? If people can't work out what's going on, then other I just what's the best way to keep a nation sick? Knock out the vitam vitamin D, the source, the natural source of it. So let's spray the sky white with chemtrails, which is a conspiracy that no one believes, even though they've admitted it now. And Bill Gates has actually even spoken about it on television. People kind of know what it is if you say cloud seeding, but when you say modify the weather, they usually laugh and then they go, <laughs> "Is that a thing?" Modify the weather, and the same man who wants to modify the weather is also currently making milk out of maggots, also wants to print meat, and also wants to own every, well, has actually been buying up all the land in America, and actually is part of Monsanto, near enough, wants to buy all the seeds and own everything, genetically modify everything, and grow things in laboratories, and then feed you pharmaceutical product to deal with the symptoms of the shit food that you're eating. I went to the gym yesterday and I speak to people in there and the manager says, is this our summer over and done with? I said, what, the five days we've had in the last six months? <laughs> and she's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, look, I said, explained why. I sent it the parliamentary act statute. And she goes, things like that really scare me. I said, they might do. I said, but you need to look at it. I said, because it's a reality. I says, what's the best way to keep a nation sick? She went, funny you should say that. She goes, Lots of people have a cold again. Lots of people have COVID again. Lots of people are sick. I went, yeah. So it's funny how two really high-end professors and doctors have noticed during, because one of them's an oncologist for skin cancer, and has noticed that when their patients are lacking vitamin D, the cancer reoccurs. And a couple of these people have come to the conclusion that vitamin D is vital for immune health. So without it, I stopped taking vitamin D for four days because I thought oh, I'll get it from the sun. I started actually sunbathing. I got a runny nose yesterday, so I had to start taking vitamin D again. Everyone's going, oh, I've got hay fever. You haven't got hay fever at all. You know in the winter, or when you come back from a hot country, you then get a runny nose and feel a bit coldy for a day. It usually goes after about 24 hours and your body readjusts to the vitamin D levels of the area that you're in then. The body's very versatile, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure there's something a little bit more to what's going on out there. And then what they'll do is they'll, they'll umbrella it under global warming and then blame you lot for consuming too much shit, even though they started all that to start with. The rich are definitely created by the poor. And what you buy and what you eat and what you consume and what you demand is what they'll produce. We need to change our ways. Peace, love and light.